We're going to teach you how to play Shoot Your Friends. Start by dealing eight cards to each player. Now, without looking at the cards, each player takes his or her cards and spreads four face down side by side on the table and the other four off to the side somewhere. We'll refer to these four cards as your set. This is your hand. I'm going to explain everything as we go very slowly and then we'll play a real round. On the count of three, all players turn their sets over at the same time. One, two, three. Now let's take a look at the sets. What we have here, some people have shields in their sets. You can legally have one shield in play at a time. So he will slide one shield out and deal a new card off from the, off from the deal deck to replace the shield. He has another card in, in play. Since you can only have one shield in play, he's going to take another card off from the deal deck and replace the shield. Next, you pick up your hand. We're looking at our hands here. The idea is to create matches in your set or in other players' sets. You can play on anybody's set. If a match is created by you or anyone else on your set, you may pick up the gun and shoot any other player out of the game. Adversely, you also become a target. If a set is created, or if a match is created on your set by any other player or by you, any other player can pick up the gun and shoot you out of the game. Now, in order to legally play a card on a set, that char the character on that card needs to be located in that set. For example, I'm looking over here at this set. He has a gangster. There's already a gangster in the, his set, so he can play the gangster there. I also have a gangster, so I might take my gangster, and since a gangster is already in play, I can put the gangster right here, completing a match. Now, it takes different quantities of characters in order to create a match. In this case, you can see the top number, the number in the top corner of the card and the bottom corner of the card. That tells you how many of that character you need in order to create a match. It takes four gangsters in order to create a match, which we have on his set. One, two, three, four gangsters. That makes him a target. It also enables him so that he is able to pick up the gun and shoot anyone else out of the game. Now, I have to make one stipulation. If I complete a set, if I complete a match on this set, I can pick up the gun and shoot him and only him. I can only shoot the player who has a match on his set. I can't complete a set on him, pick up the gun and shoot this player out of the game. So, now that he has a match on his set, he can shoot, he's also a target. So, everybody scrambles for the gun. Whoever gets it first, he gets it first, he shoots this player out of the game. This player has a shield, so he can push his shield off the table somewhere, off to the side. This player now has to clear his match and redeal a new set of four face up from the deck. This game is a constant effort of play, draw, play, draw. There are no turns. Go ahead. Okay, so what happened here is this player created a a, a match of the nun. It takes only three of the nun in order to create a match. I reach for the gun, but I'm not fast enough. He picks up the gun and shoots me. I don't have a shield in my hand. You can play a shield out of your hand. I don't have a shield in play on the table, so I'm out of the game. In order to keep the game orderly, I clear my set and back off, and play continues, creating matches on your own or on other players' sets. Occasionally, all players meet a stalemate. If you get to the point where you cannot legally play a card because you have no characters that match any of the characters in the face-up sets, then you can't play. If that becomes the case for you, you have to wait until no players can play. When no players can play, all the players in the stalemate on the count of three draw one card from the discard piles. One, two, three at the same time to break the stalemate. Often that breaks the stalemate. He made a match of gorillas and was able to shoot this player, which gets rid of the shield. Now, if on the count of three you draw a new card and you still can't play, then you repeat the process. One, two, three, one, two, three, drawing new cards until you're back in the game. There is one exception to the rule that states that the character that you are playing on the card must exist already in a set before you can play that character. That's the great grandma card. You'll notice that it only takes one great-grandma in order to create a match. 
This card can be played almost like a wild card. You can play this card on your own set, pick up the gun and shoot anybody out of the game or make yourself into the target so that anybody else in the game can shoot you. Or you can play the great grandma on another player's set, pick up the gun and shoot them, making them into a target. Shoot Your Friends is played in six rounds. There are six bullet cards to mark the rounds. After each round, the winner of that round takes a bullet card. When all the bullet cards are gone, the game is over and whoever has the most bullet cards wins. In the case of a tie, one more round is played in sudden death. The winner of that round, the tie-breaking round, wins the game of Shoot Your Friends. We're going to try a full speed round of Shoot Your Friends to demonstrate just how fast and frenzious this game can be. Dealing eight cards to each player. Each player puts four cards side by side, face down, to create their set, and their hands off to the side. Now, as you play Shoot Your Friends, it's important to keep the game orderly by clearing matches and clearing unnecessary cards out of play immediately, and if you're shot out of the round, clearing your set out of the game immediately. Also, sometimes it's helpful if you're out of the round to help other players to keep the game orderly by clearing cards and in some cases shuffling and putting old cards back into play. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, I have a shield card. I'm still in. But he has to clear his set. I'm out of the round. He is out of the round. Two players left. Okay, on the count of three, draw one card. One, one two, three. Okay, this player wins the round. He would get one out of six bullet cards. After all six are gone, whoever has the most bullet cards wins. And that's how to play Shoot Your Friends.